Quen3VL just autonomously, entirely by itself, posted this comment in Wall Street Bets, controlling the computer 100% on its own. All right, so this video is going to be a little different than my normal model testing video. Quen3VL came out. This is the vision model um, capable Quen3 model. It is quite impressive and is directly poised at basically being able to function autonomously in agentic frameworks. Based on what we see right here in the actual announcement blog post, the first demo cases that are shown are actually controlling an Android phone autonomously and controlling a computer autonomously. So being that I find that is significantly more exciting than just sending this pictures through the chat web interface, for this video we're basically just going to show this completely autonomously controlling this computer um, like without any assistance. So I will probably just throw the video into what would be seemingly a random point to start the video, but I want to just demonstrate this in where it should be demonstrated, which is its raw power in actually like agentic computer use. And it is quite funny, um, some of the things that it does. So with that, I basically have this with an instruction right here, and I'm going to say, go to chat.quen.ai and then send the model a message. So this is now autonomously controlling my computer completely by itself. And this is basically, I mean, so Quen VL just autonomously controlled my computer to go to chat.quen.ai and then send a different Quen model a message. It's now continuing to actually speak with this Quen model. And this is entirely... The script that I have to actually accomplish this is stupidly simple considering what's actually happening here, which is this is a full-on computer use agent that's autonomously taking screenshots of my computer. It knows where to click. It knows what to do. You don't need any like omni parser. Nothing's drawing bounding boxes or telling it where to click except the model itself. So this is an extremely powerful open source release. And truly, this has exceeded my expectations and what would be expected here because the actual demonstrations, 8 hello detected. So we can see this. It's continually typing. I'm not doing anything right here to the point where this is actually kind of funny. And I would probably find it more amusing if I didn't have it do this with ChatGPT earlier. And it just kind of kept freaking out. But it's just <laughs> so. And this is basically so it must have stopped there because sometimes it'll time out. Okay, good. So basically, this is what was pretty like forwardly mentioned and demonstrated right here in the actual blog post release, which kind of made me excited to do this video. All right, here's where the fun begins. So I'm just instructing it to go to the Wall Street Bet subreddit, find a random post, and then comment moon. So it has already gone ahead and autonomously opened Firefox. It's Google searching now Wall Street Bets. And again, this is like, <laughs> it's quite good. And for, oh, I would just kill to have this running locally and offline because I'm using it through the API. All right, so it's made a mistake right here where it accidentally has gone ahead and opened the picture here instead of just commenting. All right, so it figured out to go back. And again, I just, I love this stuff. I find it so entertaining just seeing like AI kind of autonomously control computers and things like that. I am Truly not 100% sure what it has just done. It is now trying to click on the tab. And keep in mind, it's capped at like a few specific tries before it will just kind of quit out. So if it ends up hanging for any decent length of time, we can kind of assume it's failed. But the whole goal here isn't necessarily to get a fully successful result. It's just kind of to get a feel or demonstration of how potent this thing is at actually using a computer with like a vibe coded script that was mostly lifted from the Google Collab notebook and just API access for it with a simple like thing that takes screenshots of an Ubuntu system and then can actually use it. So it keeps trying to click on the same tab and it seems to be confused here, but it did manage to get there and actually click on a thread. So I will go ahead now and just kind of kill it. Okay, so it did execute the maximum number of actions right here. But let's just go ahead and we'll close the browser in its entirety. And I'm going to try that specific one again just because it would be kind of funny to see it autonomously posting on Reddit. <laughs> Probably against the... Uh, eh, it's all right. So we have our browser open again. Interesting. It directly typed the actual URL now instead of just searching Wall Street Bets. So let's see what it does. All right. 
Okay. Oh. Type moon. I'm again like I'm not if it does it did. It just it autonomously just posted on the Wall Street Bets Reddit. Looks like you've been doing that a lot. Take a break for five seconds. So it kept <laughs> something I noticed with it chatting with the Quen online is that it would continuously try to do stuff. So I mean Okay, so it's seeing we need something here. Let's see if it, and again, I'm just going to, let's see if it it can parse that message and figure out that it needs to actually, uh, so now it's just in a, in a loop trying to save comment, but this thing is, <laughs> all right, I'm going to end it here, but like, look at this, the Quen 3 VL just autonomously entirely by itself posted this comment in Wall Street Bets, controlling the computer 100% on its own, so that is, uh, to my opinion, perhaps a historic comment. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can beat this before the opponent just kind of bails out. All right, so I'm doing nothing. It should go ahead and click into the chessboard. All right, and this is somewhere where they definitely struggle. I had done this with ChatGPT, the agent, and it was actually quite impressive, or the operator, whatever it was called. It was impressive where it actually did manage to make moves. It seems like this is quite confusing and does not figure out that it needs to move the black chess pieces. It's just continuously trying to click on the... Oh, okay. Let's see what it does. Let's see if it makes a new game. All right, it did. Okay, hopefully. Okay, so maybe it will understand that they moved first and try to move a black piece, but nope. Okay, <laughs> so it's just trying to um, move the opponent's piece. So I will say that this is worse at playing chess than the chat GPT operator is in that it doesn't seem to properly be able to actually click and drag it. What if I just tried like a, there. All right, let's see if it will go ahead now and, okay. Nope. All right. So it's just stuck trying to click on that one single chess piece, but that's okay. And I will say, um, <sighs> trying to take back control of it. Also, here's a disclaimer. Don't do this. This is a horrible idea from like a security perspective, from a, um, like a responsibility perspective. Don't give something like this native control of a computer that you actually use for anything serious because you never know. It's unlikely, but you never know. But it is weird trying to regain control of it and like get back into the terminal when it's by itself moving the mouse. So, all right, here's one. Let's just do like a <laughs> open the notes or text edit app and write a story. And for this, I probably will close out of VS Code because it will... Um, more likely than not think that's the text edit app and then just go ahead and start spamming slop into the script which i will put okay so we can see it click text editor and then it's going to write something i still think it's hilarious that it posted on red damn look at that <laughs> i'm going to use this i'm going to start taking like a ton of um like job interviews where they like <laughs> they monitor your screen and <laughs> they'll be like wow this guy's incredible at typing <laughs> Funny story .txt. Don't tell me it hit save again. I'm not. I love this model. This is so much fun. I, well, you probably have to be uh, tuned a certain way to find that this is fun. But I, I do believe a lot of folks who watch my videos will also see why I appreciate this. Done. It just did that completely by itself. This thing is really. Oh, okay. I I did misread this sentence right here, but I'm I'm quite happy to report that it was. Uh, <laughs> I mean, there's, you can like, yeah. All right, what else is here? Oh God, this person's still playing? Sorry. They're probably a bot too. It's probably it's just bots. <laughs> it's bots everywhere. <laughs> um, I have an idea. Let's see how many, <laughs> like, let's see how many, actions we can get it to perform in one specific prompt here. All right, so let's see what it does here because this is a multifaceted task that we're asking this thing to perform. So we know it's capable of going to the browser and it should just type ominousindustries.com now in the, oh, in all caps. Did I, wait, that wouldn't matter. 
All right, so it needs to now find the contact page. Let's see if it fills out all of these forms correctly. I need to get it to solve a CAPTCHA. I must, I must find a CAPTCHA email. Come on, you can make something up. Yes, you can. I'm, he's going to do a 555, five, five, right? I'm guessing 555, five, five, one, two, three, one, two, three. Ah, all right. All right, let's see. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Why is it in all caps? It just sent it. It just sent it. I'm going to see the email come in in a second on my other machine. <laughs> Yep, I, yep. <laughs> oh my gosh. The email just came in on my other machine. I can see, I can see it. Um, <laughs> you can buy a robot, social robot for your Jetson right here. Yeah, everything included except the Jetson and the Arduino because it has head movement too, but it includes all the Arduino stuff except the Arduino. It is also on GitHub um, for anyone that doesn't want to spend the money. I do like open source, so I feel the need to contribute back to it um, because it's just kind of the non-tool bag thing to do. So, all right, um, I need to find a CAPTCHA. What's a site that would like? What's a site that's heavy on CAPTCHAs? All right, I don't know what it's going to do here, but I, I'm starting it from here. I'm just, I was trying to get like a CAPTCHA pop-up so we could have it solve something that says like, I'm not a robot. But instead, I just said, buy this car. So let's see what it does. <laughs> oh, oh, all right. <laughs> What's it going to pick? All right, Ford, you need to select a model. <laughs> What's your trim? How many miles does your car have, man? <laughs> oh my goodness, that's an invalid zip code. Let's see. <laughs> oh man. All right, so now it's trying to put a different car in, <laughs> and it's gonna, it's gonna, like, um, it will stop at some point. <laughs> Okay, so I, I can report as a critique of the Quen3 VL family is they don't really understand what zip codes are <laughs> or how many numbers they're supposed to have. <laughs> all right, well, that's, that's, yeah, that's all right. You tried. It, it was a good, I can't believe it just, <laughs> wow. I, uh, yeah, um. I think that's it's probably going to conclude the video. I bought a uh, um, a Strix Halo, like the 128 gig um, AMD thing for AI. So I might just do some videos with that, just testing LLMs on it or something. Uh, just as like a future video. I think overall that is going to conclude this video. I don't really have a ton to say. I just wanted to demonstrate the raw capabilities of this in a fully agentic computer use scenario. It is quite um, quite potent, and the fact that it's open source is awesome. Running it locally is not really something that, at least currently, is very possible because I think you probably need like a, I don't know, you'd need some very expensive system. So, But this is really, <laughs> I would highly recommend playing with this. Um, yeah, so, all right, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching.